All right. So for those of you who have been following my Instagram, you've seen this knife make an appearance. This is the CRKT Bonafide, and it's got the Field Strip 2 Tech. But we're going to start on the outside and work our way in. We'll get to that in a moment. So you can see it's in a nice kind of a stonewash finish here. Very, it's grippy without being too aggressive in the pocket, which I really like. It's got a nice low ride pocket clip, so it's not as obtrusive, and then a spot for dummy cord or a lanyard or whatever. And of course, it's got the IKBS bearings in it. So very nice, very easy, very smooth action. Very satisfying to flick open. But again, the big killer feature of this knife is that field strip tech. So as you can see, there's a slider switch here. You just slide it over and up. And the knife comes into three pieces. Just like that. So really, really slick. Um, very impressed with this new tech. I haven't actually gotten my hands on with the old field strip tech, but I gotta say this is pretty doggone impressive. And again, you just clean it, put it back together. And the only hiccup I've noticed with this, if you don't completely, you can see here, you don't completely compress this all the way together, it can be in, under certain circumstances possible to slide the lever back into the locked position with the knife not completely pinched together and you end up with some weirdness and the switch gets stuck. So just be sure to have it all pushed tightly together before you flip that switch back into position. But just, I'll show you actually, I'll just show you in real time here. It takes me about, I don't know, five seconds to get the knife apart. And then another five to put it back together if I can line it up properly. Again, making sure it's squeezed tightly together, and it's back. So, really impressed with the field strip technology. If you do a lot of dirty work with knives, I'd consider getting one with this. Uh, it's really, really cool tech. Um, very impressed with it. It's not super necessary for a lot of stuff I'm doing, uh, although you did see, if, again, if you saw on my Instagram, there was a pork lab that we did uh, with some of the SWAT guys that this came in very handy on. I was having to cut some raw pork with my knife to create the injury patterns for training and uh, once I was done doing all of the nasty messy work I was able to just take it apart and disinfect the entire knife so it would have been a lot more difficult with a regular knife without that tech so glad to have it for that again not my everyday use but definitely a use case that I appreciate you can there's a tiny bit if you can hear a tiny bit of rattle just under normal circumstances with the knife that being said, it's not much more than there would be with any other knife. Um, I wonder whether or not this would increase over time, but I think it's just a, the nature of the field strip. Um, it's really, really, really minor. But if you're the type of person who gets really wigged out by <laughs> that sort of thing, you may not want to get one of these unless you have a need for it. I think it's just this pin here. There's just some play in that naturally. So when you push it back together, yeah, I can make it rattle if I want, but if it's sitting in your pocket and it's even lightly pinched, it's not gonna, not gonna rattle on you. Again, only an issue if you're the kind of person who really, really gets bothered by that stuff, but just something to, to raise a point. That is normal with the knife. It's not anything to be alarmed about. It's just, a, again, you're getting a really cool feature and you're gonna lose some of the, um, the other features, I guess, in this case, you're going to lose the lack of a rattle. But if that's a really big deal to you, don't buy this knife. But <laughs> I'd really encourage you to look past that and uh, and think about it because it's it's pretty slick. I'm excited to see. Hopefully, some other knives will be coming out with this technology here soon. Fingers crossed. Uh, oh, and just for size comparison here, this is my Streamlight Micro Stream. And this is the Bonafide. So it's. It's a medium-sized knife. It's probably along the lines of the CRKT M16s, a lot of the M16 series knives, the, the small to medium-sized ones. That's a good another good size comparison. I don't have one handy or I'd show you. Uh, that's the one I keep at work, but definitely consider the Bonafide. I'd recommend it to people. It really does feel premium in the hand, and again, that feature is really killer. That's all I got for you right now. Talk to you soon. Take care.